So the Young Farmers Challenge, which is presented by Arrow Energy, traditionally has been hosted on the main arena here at the Eka on the first Saturday, and it's an opportunity for uh, young farmers, young farmer teams to compete uh, and demonstrate some of the skills that are utilised on farms. One of the most exciting things is that we've been able to adapt the Young Farmers Challenge into the eSports format. It's been an opportunity for uh, students who have not traditionally either grown up on farms or been involved in farming to actually get online and experience some of the tasks that producers are facing uh, in terms of harvesting, baling and, and that sort of thing. We always want to get involved with Yaka. Every year we are full on with the Yaka. We are looking at getting Stab Abby and Matt, our breakfast guys, uh, in to do the show for 24, they were live 24 hours last year, doing everything from writing songs, to eating Jaguar dogs, to patting the cows, and doing everything they can. It's a no-brainer putting B105 with the great team at the Echo. Farming sim being what I do at home, it was just a kind of natural thing. I knew what to do and when I saw the opportunity to do it at school, I thought I'd grab it and see how it goes. And yeah, it's turned out lots of fun and Eka jumping at it, like all the facilities and everything is just outstanding. And there's not many other places that do this and it's just, it'll create a lot of fun and games in the future. So eSports is a growing industry and it's basically competitive video gaming and as we know a lot of young people do play games, about 80% in Queensland or in Australia and New Zealand and um, bringing it into something that's been going for 100 years or so already is like a really great way to bring the new with the old and collaborate it, get the older generations um, seeing what is um, up with the younger generations and what they're interested in and Farming Simulator is a really great way to just tie those two worlds together.